All right, so if tonight's agenda, again, I just want to share a little bit about myself. I think it's important for you guys to understand where I came from um, in order to understand where I, how I got here and where I am today. Um, share a little bit about the company, but really we're going right into it. You know, what exactly is cybersecurity, right? Why is cybersecurity uh, important? And then we're going to talk about the fun stuff, which is, you know, the cybercrime damages and the stuff that we're seeing today, you know, in the real world or in the wild. Um, and why that's relevant, which is like, you know, the attack landscape, what, what types of attacks are out there? What are we seeing? Um, and then we'll pivot and we'll talk a little bit about, you know, the career paths, right? What are the top career paths for beginners? What are the top industry skills that you need? And how can you leverage the skills that you have now as a professional, okay? So that you can leverage what we call transferable skills. And then we'll talk about, you know, selling yourself and, uh, you know, answer any questions towards the end that you guys may have. Um, so with that being said, while we're, while we're just getting started, uh, for those of you working professionals now, what do you guys currently do, right? Drop that in the chat. I want to hear, what do you guys do? Are you guys coming from an education background? Are you coming from a retail background? Are you coming from a government background? Um, are you business owners? What, what do you guys do? If you guys want to share that in chat, be really excited to talk about that because I want to talk and teach you guys, how do you, how do you transfer uh, and pivot with the skills that you already have? Because you guys could be extracting that value and really articulate that when you're pivoting into this space. Uh, okay, so again, my name, William TJ Sims. Um, I go by T Jones on social, um, cybersecurity engineer by trade, uh, also a member of the Forbes Business Council, um, founder and CEO of the Freedom Unit. And essentially the Freedom Unit is a cybersecurity and professional development program, all right? We focus in on training high school students primarily um, because we believe in early career exploration and the output um, that that has in our communities. Um, and so I like to consider myself a, a, a leader, a disruptor in the space, and just an advocate for folks who come from, you know, underrepresented backgrounds who may not have the tools uh, or the leadership or the resources necessary because um, that I was, I was a product of that. Um, and so, if, you know, my background, you know, I grew up single, single parent household, 200% um, below the poverty line, um, you know, Section 8 food stamps, public housing, type of situation. Um, so I really didn't have much resources. I really didn't know anything about the opportunities in this space because it just wasn't, you know, accessible. Um, I wasn't exposed. And you'll hear me talk a lot about that tonight with respect to what I like to call, you know, the five E formula for success, which is exposure, right? You might want to write this down, exposure, education, execution, evolution, and empowerment. And so I've applied those five elements um, to my life and everything that I do, because in order for you to know an opportunity is out there, right, and, and exists, you have to get exposed. And so I got exposed out of desperation. Okay, guys, I want you guys to keep that in mind. Like, I wasn't exposed to this field for any other reason besides desperation. I was desperate. Like, my back was against the wall. I literally had to listen to my mom, you know, complain every, every month, you know, I don't know how we're going to make rent, you know, tomorrow. I don't know, you know, the lights got cut off a lot. And when we ran out of food stamps, you know, we didn't have food in the fridge. And somehow, some way, she always made ends meet. And I was just so sick and tired of being sick and tired and living check to check and watching my mom struggle that I knew I had to move from a place of security, right? I had to move from a place of independence and, and, and more financial and job security, which later transitioned now in my life to freedom, right? Financial freedom and independence. And that's what I aspire and hope and wish for all of you who are here tonight, all 50 of you. So, so shout out to everybody who's tuning in. And first and foremost, thank you guys so much for sharing this next hour with me, um, because what we're really gonna be talking about is how do we transition and how, to, how do we secure a bulletproof career in cyberspace and in the age of information technology? It's all about developing skills that are not disposable, okay? So that we're not at the mercy of a person, a situation, or an economy. And that's going to be the first chapter of my book, which is coming out, which, you know, we'll talk about later. You guys will see, but just remember that. And so, again, Freedom Unit Career Exploration Program, right? We specialize in cybersecurity and professional development because it's not enough to just be technical. It's not enough to just be, you know, um, you know, personable, right? You have to have the tech skills, what we call the hard and the soft skills, um, and be able to articulate that in a manner and represent yourself correctly, whether it be on a resume, whether it be in an interview, whether it be online, right? Branding yourself. Um, these are all things that we need to consider. And so I really want you guys to focus on that. 
and understand our mission, right? Our brand, our vision, and our movement is to, is to transcend the next generation of technology scholars and professionals and leaders, okay? So keep that in mind. I'm really excited for you guys. And FYI, guys, um, right here, this picture is actually what you would think of when I, when I refer to what's called a SOC, uh, S-O-C, which is, stands for Security Operations Center, kind of looks something like you'd see in like the CIA or, or more like the NSA, right? If you ever watch any of these movies like Edward Snowden, um, you'll see like, you know, operation centers that look like this. And I've actually worked in a fully functional 24 by seven security operation center for my entire career. So this is exactly kind of what it looks like. And it's really cool, bunch of screens. And so I thought that was kind of cool to put there so you guys get a taste and a feel. So um, what is cybersecurity? Drop it in the chat. What do you guys think cybersecurity is? Because I know you guys have heard about it. You know, you read about it in headlines. Whatever you guys think, drop it in chat what exactly cybersecurity is, because I just want to make sure that you guys have a very high level understanding, because some of these terms you'll hear um, will be used interchangeably, for example, cybersecurity, right, or information security, or network security, or data security, right? There's so many different, um, I want to say, there's so much different verbiage that is used inter interchangeably, but with respect to cybersecurity, it's pretty much broken up into different domains. And so I would like to, I would like for you guys to not get stuck up on this, but to think, okay, as far as the overarching umbrella of information security, you could think of information security as the overarching umbrella or the set. And everything else that you hear with respect to cybersecurity and network security is sort of like a subset of information security. So that is the set of practices, right? Keeping data secure from unauthorized access, modification, and destruction in order to ensure the CIA. Now, I'm not talking about the three-letter acronym, acronym government body CIA, right? Central Intelligence Agency. I'm talking about confidentiality. Write this down. Confidentiality integrity and availability, right? When you're keeping something confidential, right? For example, this meeting tonight, this is a confidential meeting, right? This meeting isn't available to every single person in the world. It's only available to earners. It's available to EYO University. It's confidential. You got to be a member or an earner in order to participate, right? So this is what, we, what we're talking about and what we mean when we talk about confidentiality, right? Integrity, what do we mean by integrity? Well, you guys know that. That's one of the values and morals that I live by. Integrity, right? What do you do behind your closed doors when no one's watching, right? That's what you may think of when you hear integrity. But in cybersecurity, integrity is not allowing modification or, or data to be modified or tampered with, right? Only allowing the, or ensuring that the data that is, that is at rest is uh, not, not modified, at least by an unauthorized party. So when you hear about integrity, just think about modification. And last but not least, availability, right? If you don't, if you don't have if, if, if resources, right? If servers and resources and data isn't available, well, then it's useless, right? And what, and what, and what does that mean, right? What do I mean? Well, from a higher level, and, and write this down as well. There is no such thing as 100% security, right? It doesn't exist. It's impossible, right? It is impossible to achieve or obtain 100% security. It just doesn't happen because if there is human interaction or any type of human engagement, then it's susceptible to an attack. And let's just say something is 100% secure, right? And this is how I'm going to prove my point. If it's 100% secure, you can't access it. So is it available? It's not available if you can't access it, right? availability is compromised. And so think about the physical and the data and, and, and the digital. So that's the on and offline presence, right? I worked in a, in a security operations center, what's better known as called a JSOC or a joint security operations center in that picture that I showed previously. And I've worked with the physical security team as well as the cyber team as a, a member of the cybersecurity incident response team. And what that means is, you know, you're working with the physical guys who are controlling all the different locations, different buildings, people, right? That global security aspect of people, which are the number one assets and also the number one liability. But with that being said, right, the physical security is just as important as the, the digital.